Hey guys, Fearless Showdown here, and today I'm going to be showing you how you can uh, move the components of your overlay that you just got from the previous video from Strexum.com. Go ahead and check out that video, the link will be down in the description below. And uh, you'll be able to move them around uh, free of charge. Now, that's something that a lot of people want to learn how to do, and something that's really hard to explain unless you show them. Uh, shout out to uh, my buddy Gosley. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and show you how it's done. So basically, you're gonna want to open up your uh, website here. Let me let me open it up, and you're gonna want to go to strexum.com. Um, strexum. So I and if you watched the previous video, you just link your you link everything in there. Um, so I'm just gonna edit this dark zone in game here. Okay, so let's let's change this up. Well, my Twitter is uh, fearless3970. My YouTube is Fearless Showdown. My Facebook, Fearless Showdown. And I don't have an Instagram, so you'll just come over to the social bar here, settings, and uh, Instagram, and you'll just go uh, hide section. It's all good. Okay, so for this, with this little webcam box right here, you're going to want to uncheck this box right here. Boop, your webcam is going to disappear. And don't worry, it will still be there later. So just don't worry about that. I will get your webcam in here. Just do this in this order and you will be perfectly fine. Bottom bar, you can do your settings. Recent followers, latest follower, recent donations, top donation. That looks good to me, actually. That's probably exactly how I would set it up. Twitch chat. I don't put Twitch chat in. You can if you want. I do it through something else. So I, I just I wouldn't recommend doing that. Um, I disable alerts because uh, I do alerts through uh, Twitch alerts, so I don't I don't do that. So this is basically what it's going to look like. You're going to want to hit update, okay? It's going to load, and then there's going to be this little link right here. First step, you're going to want to highlight and copy it, okay? Copy this right here. It just says copy URL. That that just makes things a little easier. But uh, then you're going to want to open your OBS. Now here. I'm just going to show you on this page right here, don't mind that uh, in the background there. We're going to add, and we're going to add a CLR browser. Okay, we're just going to call it uh, Overlay. Overlay. Now this is one of the biggest problems here. It's going to, the dimensions default are going to be 640 by 480. You're going to want to change that to 1920 by 1080. Okay. That's what you're going to want to do. Then where the link goes, you're going to paste that link that you just highlighted. And you're going to hit OK. By doing that, you see my new overlay has popped up. Um, it should be um, right along the bottom here. And everything, you'll see it here too. So if I move this out of the way, you can still see my overlay, my social media, and things are here. But how am I going to get my webcam in? And how am I going to be able to move it around? I'm going to go ahead and show you. So this link right here. You can also see you can highlight it. You're going to want to click on it, and it's going to take you to this web browser, and that's where it's pulling this from. Let me uncheck the overlay. So this is where it's going to be pulling it from to uh, put it into your OBS. So all you're going to do is you're going to right-click and save as. Select a browser of your choice. I have I actually have a Twitch browser. I'm going to a Twitch folder, and I'm going to call this one uh, Overlay. Um, we're going to call it Overlay Video Example. Okay, we created that folder called Overlay Video Example, and you're going to want to create a folder. And we're just going to name it OP, sure, that's what it wants to come up as. So we're going we're gonna to do that. Save. Okay, so now you're going to bring this back over, okay, and you're going to go Add Image. Now we'll call this Webcam Overlay. Sounds good. Boop. You're going to browse. You're going to go to where it was. So mine is in Downloads, Twitch Folder, Video Example, OP Files, and it's all right here. This is going to be your 4x3 ratio, and this is going to be your 16x9. So you need to know what the ratio of your webcam is. Mine, personally, is probably going to be 4x3. Four, um, four I believe that's what it is. Did I say 4x9? I might have said 4x9. So you're just going to select the one that you want and import it. Boom. Now, uh, you're going to want to hit edit scene, grab this webcam, you can size it to whatever size you want, and I'm going to say that I want my webcam right there, okay? 
let's say right here. Now you'll just add your webcam in, which is going to be video capture device. We'll call it webcam, just to keep things organized, keep you guys on track. Here it is, um, resolution custom res, and we're gonna go. Um, where is it? Hmm. 960 by 720, I believe, is what we're looking for. Hello. And then you just downsize it. You'll get it the size that you want it. So we'll downsize here. Boop. And then you'll just go like this, right click this, position, or no, order, and then move down, boom. Edit scene, my webcam is in the overlay, everything's looking good. If I move it over here, boom, I'm right here, down here, and then if you want to, you just go ahead like this, edit, and I can move this wherever I want, and put myself essentially wherever I want. So that is how you get the free overlay and move your webcam wherever you want and resize it. It really helps out a lot when you don't want to use the default and you don't want to pay these people like $5 just to move your webcam around, you know? So, uh, yep. If you guys have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comment section below. Uh, leave a like if this helped you, comment, um, subscribe for uh, more how-to videos on streaming and, and uh, getting your setup going correctly. I have uh, microphone videos and all kinds of stuff like that, so make sure you check that out. Uh, I appreciate you guys for watching the video. I'll see you next time.